Hello and welcome to the learning square. In this tutorial, I will discuss the watershed algorithm for segmentation. Now what is a watershed? A morphological watershed provides a complementary approach to the segmentation of objects. It is specially useful for segmenting objects that are touching each other. So if I have such an object wherein I have two images which are kind of touching each other, then this algorithm is pretty useful. Otherwise, usually what happens is that this image comes out as a single foreground. To understand the watershed transform, we basically view a grayscale image as a topological surface wherein the value of fxy corresponds to the height. So we have such an image and these are the catchment basins that we have and this is the watershed ridge line. So if I have this kind of an image then if the water falls on this watershed ridge line it is it has equal probability of falling on each of the catchment basins. So water falling on the watershed ridge line separating the two basins would be equally likely to collect into either of the two catchment basins. The watershed algorithm then finds the catchment basins and the ridge lines in the image. So how does the algorithm work? Now suppose a hole is punched at the regional local minimum. So for this particular image we have two local minima here and we punch a hole in both of them. And the entire topography is then filled from below by letting the water rise through the hole at a uniform rate. So we are basically filling in water from these two holes. Pixels below the water level at a given time are marked as flooded. When we raise the water level incrementally, the flooded regions will grow in size and eventually the water will rise to a level where two flooded regions from separate catchment basins will merge. So a point will come when water from this and this will merge. When this occurs, the algorithm constructs a one pixel thick dam that separates the two regions. So us separation is made here. The flooding continues until the entire image is segmented into separate catchment basins divided by the watershed ridge lines. So for this we use the inbuilt command in MATLAB called BW distance. This computes the distance transform. So suppose I have an image like this of ones and zeros. It basically works on a binary image. So I would have an image of ones and zeros. It tries to find out the distance of every pixel from the nearest non-zero value pixel. So for these pixels since they are already one the distance is 0. For this the closest is 1, again 1. For this it would be 2 and so on. So we find out the matrix for BW distance for each and every pixel in the image. After this the watershed algorithm is implemented in the MATLAB. Now this is an inbuilt command called watershed F where F is the input image and L is a labeled matrix image. So we get a labeled matrix image out of this having positive integer values at different regions and zero at the watershed ridge lines. So wherever I would have these <coughs> zeros, it, these would be the ridge lines and rest would be the non-zero values for this matrix L. The key behind using the watershed transform for segmentation is that you change your image into another image. So we do basic transformations whose catchment basins are the objects you want to identify. So the transformations are done and then we try to compute the distance from the image's complement instead of using the image itself. So instead of BW distance of the image, we take the complement and after finding out the dis this distance matrix, we take the negative of this distance transform to turn the two bright areas into catchment basins. So if I have two bright areas like this, I want these to be white and the rest to be black. So I invert my image and then I apply the watershed on this image. So remember that we do have to do appropriate transformations on this image before we apply the watershed transform. After this, we get a label matrix. It contains positive integers corresponding to the locations of the catchment basins and we have zero values for the watershed line like I said. So let's implement this in MATLAB. So I have the code written for you. So first I read an image. So this is a cell.tiff. Let's run it and see. So this is my cell.tiff that I have. Now I do a transform called I am top hat wherein I take the structuring element of a disk of size 10. The structuring element is for the morphological transformations. So what am I basically doing is that I am trying to subtract the background from the image using I am top hat. So top hat is the subtraction of the opened image from the original. One can do opening in gray images removing all features smaller than the structuring element. So the noise is basically removed using this for any noise which has size lesser than this structuring element. So once the noise is removed then I do the I am adjust. 
so this was my image after removing the noise and then I do the adjustment this is just for histogram stretching which we have discussed in the previous lectures now after this we take the level of gray threshold which I discussed in the previous lecture this is again using the Otsu segmentation I try to find out the correct th uh, threshold level where my image is divided into two modes so this level of threshold is selected and I convert my image into a black and white image using IM2PW working on this I2 image with the level of threshold specified by this gray thresh here so I have a black and white image now which is here now I complement this to get this because I want my image to be black and the background to be white once this is done I then calculate the BW distance now if you remember BW distance computes the distance transform so it, it is trying to find out nearest non-zero values so it's going to work inside this image and try to find out the non-zero values within this image then I perform this operation wherein I am trying to assign minus infinity values to these values of C inside the D image so why am I doing this? I am just modifying the image so that the background pixels and the extended maxima pixels are forced to be the only local minima in the image. So I want the local minima to be inside the image so that I could fill in water and find out the watershed here. Once this is done, then I apply the watershed on this image. So after application of watershed, I get L wherein if I want to see L, so this is how my watershed looks like after the water is filled in the watershed basically it gives me zeros for all these it gives me zeros for all these watershed ridge lines and catchment basins are non-zero so for this I use the label to RGB value which is basically it takes the labels and converts them to an RGB according to the color map that I specify so I have used hot here so the hot color map will be used to display this so you can see the ridges how it is filled out I could also take the original image and just to superimpose my ridge lines I have taken these values so I rem if you remember L would have zeros wherever the ridge lines are present so I am marking those in my original image as zero so this would give me black outlines for these ridges and I can see my original image like this after the watershed segmentation so you can change the image and see for yourself so this brings us to the end of this lecture I will see you in the next one thank you